The density of the atmosphere is decreasing. Maximum stress on the vehicle. The call-out. Next call out. Next call out. Next call out. Next call out. To get ready, the booster will shut down all but three of the Raptor engines. Flying forward in the two stages together will release. Continuing to watch the first stage as we head down the engine. Starship will then separate from the super heavy booster and then the space. And at the same time, the three engines. 100 seconds into flight. Super heavy. We'll flip the booster around. Our next major activity is going to be so shut down, down the first, the first stage. stage on path for a the Houston tracking down station in the now acquiring the vehicle. With shutdown, we will get separation of Starship from Super Heavy and ignition of the Starship engines. When Starship separates, we light up six engines in a staggered sequence. And if all goes well, those six engines will burn for almost six and a half minutes. Onboard view from Starship. Engine power continues to look on the, the second stage. Engines. As we prepare for We're stage separation, the first stage and, and after stage staging, separation, the first stage will and, flip and, and begin a boost back maneuver for landing in the Gulf. And our position of Houston Signal, Houston and New Orleans. Continuing to fly, two minutes forty boost seconds. Let's get ready for main engine cutoff. Beginning the flip for stage separation. And we just heard there, ship avionics, yeah, power and right nominal, now, all six like engines are lit, as you can see flip, from the but obviously there, we're at the bottom right-hand right side of your screen. The entire Starship stack continuing to rotate. We should have had separation by now. Now, obviously, we did know this is, that uh, does the, not appear to be uh, a nominal the, the situation. The hostaging was going to yeah, be incredibly to be dynamic, spinning, but we knew that there was a chance that the booster would not survive. We're going to take that data and figure out how we can make the booster better for the next hot stage. to clear the pad Second and make it this cutoff. far into the test flight, the first integrated flight of the booster and the Starship vehicle. So far, 
today has been like incredibly successful, even with the run of the super heavy booster. Uh, this is as amazing. <laughs> primary objective of the booster today As we said to before, get to hot obviously staging, we wanted to, to make it all the way orbit. through, it did but admirably. to get this far, honestly, is amazing. Yeah, we definitely <laughs> asked. Starship trajectory nominal. Well, if you're just joining right, us, great news there, Starship that trajectory, just experienced what we call is a rapid, unscheduled disassembly or a rut during engines. But now this was a development heard, test. This is the first good. test flight of Starship, now, the ship, and the goal was to gather the data, and as we said, clear the pan and get ready to go again. So you never know. Know exactly in. what's going to uh, happen. We also want but as we to, promise, uh, excitement is guaranteed. That, that and Starship gave us a rather that, spectacular uh, end, but was truly an incredible test thus which far. Is what it's doing right now. now, as we mentioned, um, and eventually at the start orbital of today's insertion, program, uh, any and all the data that we collected during the test is going to help us Earth, with further development of Starship. It's going to improve the vehicle's reliability as SpaceX seeks to make life multiplanetary. It's really worth noting that the flight path was designed to be over water and if we get that far, space, like all of that sounds with great. That Secondary objectives for ship, areas, again, in continuing to and gather of course, we're engine be data and with local about its health for the recovery operation. Um, but honestly, great news there. That an tells exciting us that morning. The oh my gosh. Inside <laughs> of we had a successful liftoff again from that Starbase, Texas at 8.28 a.m. Central Time. Uh, uh, we in the cleared the tower, which honestly was our only hope. We cleared the tower and all the data that we collected uh, all the way through a user um, the, all those which Raptors, engines 33, are although I so think we saw that three Raptor engines Raptor were out, engines on ship um, are but we got all that data, and uh, we got so far as to hoping to see the, the Starship, engines. the second stage, separate from the first stage, the super heavy booster, so and unfortunately, we didn't make that happen, but that's okay. It was the first integrated launch, and honestly, today was amazing. We're targeting orbit today. We're targeting almost orbit today. That's very intentional as part of the mission uh, design. The goal is to with get getting booster to ascent, getting all the way through the countdown, moving to the mission at the end. Like, but really fantastic to get to the energy level. The ship will need to dissipate Everything released, the hold down, the quick disconnect arms, everything moves out of the way. And then we got the vehicle off the pad. But Max Q, that trajectory all will get us to the energy the levels that we need up. at reentry, where we can really stress excitement. that heat shield and <laughs> Honestly, get valuable data on reentry. My face has had a smile on it since lift off, off, and now my face is <laughs> Now, since we don't have any insights on the cause really of our rapid, orbit. unscheduled yeah. disassembly at this point, now, we're going to end the webcast here. Teams will continue to review the data and work for our next flight test. But before we go, a big congrats to the entire SpaceX team on an exciting first survive. integrated flight test of Starship. Uh, that being and of said, course, a shout out okay. to our viewers. We appreciate you joining us. And as always, after, we thank you for your uh, interest hot in Starship, staging, so SpaceX, we're going to take that data support. and improve the time. hot staging sequence and, and probably improve the hardware itself uh, for the next flight.